This is how you can make an advanced guild join and guild leave logger system for your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the super god or custom bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And on Discord, if you get the god or custom bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the custom bot tier, me and my demo code, you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this, and let's go ahead and get into the video. So we can start by going over to our index.js, and we can go ahead and give this a file name. So we can go ahead and say server join slash leave logging, and we can start by doing client.on, we can do events, at guild creates, and we can do comma, async guild, and we can do error function and open this up. We're going to do const channel equals await client.channels.cache.git, and we can go ahead and get the channel we want to send this in. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and send it in this channel, the tutorial about testing. So we can go ahead and put it in here. Uh, and then we can go ahead and make an embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. And we can go ahead and set a color. And this is going to be green. And then we can go ahead and set a title. And we can go ahead and open up emojis here. Let's just go ahead and get this emoji, uh, the mail emoji. And we can say new server joined. And before we move on here, we're going to go ahead and create some variables that we can use in this embed. So we can start by doing const name equals. And then we can go ahead and get to guild.name. We can do const member account equals guild dot member account. And finally, we can do const owner equals a guild dot owner ID. So now that we've created those variables, we can come in here and add some fields. So we can open up our name and this is going to be server name. And then we can go ahead and get our value, which is going to be an arrow. And we can open this up and that is just going to be our name variable. Then we can add some more fields just like this. We can get name and this is going to be server members and we can get value and we can go ahead and open up an arrow here and we're going to get our member account variable and we can add some more fields so add fields we'll get our name and that is going to be server owner we can go ahead and get value and we can open up another arrow this time we're going to get our owner variable and then lastly we can go ahead and do add fields and we can go ahead and get name and this is going to be server age and we can do value and we can go ahead and open up an arrow and we can go ahead and do another arrow and we can do t and we'll do a colon we can open this up we're going to get parse i and t we'll open up parentheses here we can do guild.created timestamp and then we can do divided by 1000 and then right outside of that we can go ahead and do another colon r and then an arrow just like that so that's going to go ahead and open up one of our timestamps right there and then we can go ahead and set a timestamp below so this is when the embed was created and we can set footer so this is going to be text and we can do guild join so after doing that we can actually go ahead and send this embed with all the information in it so we can do await channel.send and we need our embeds and we can also get the embed variable that we just put in there all right so before we move on to our guild leave we could do one more thing here so we're just going to change this to owner id and we can go ahead and pass in owner id here and then under that we can go ahead and do const owner equals and we can do await client.users.cache.git and we can go ahead and get our owner id so now we can just go ahead and do const owner name equals and we can go ahead and do owner.username and then all we have to do here is we can go ahead and input our owner name variable in there and then we can just do a slash like that to separate that out so after doing that we can move on to our guild leave so we can do client.on we can go ahead and get our events and then we can do guild delete and we can do async guild and then we can do an arrow function and open this up so we're going to start off by doing the exact same thing as before so we can pretty much just copy this and we can go ahead and paste it down here so basically all we have to actually edit is the embed because all of this information is still going to be correct within our variables so we're going to start off by editing the title so we can open up some emojis we'll get our x and then we can go ahead and say left uh, server and dot 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 and instead of guild to join this is going to be guild leave and and we're still going to send that in the channel as well. So this is pretty simple. That's basically all we have to do for the system. So we can go ahead and turn on the bot and test this out. All right. So over in the Discord server, we're going to go ahead and invite the bot to a Discord server. So I'm just going to go ahead and invite it to a test server that I created for this video. So we can go ahead and invite it there. And as you can see, as soon as it joins the test server, now the bot's in the server, over in this server in our channel, it's going to go ahead and say new server joined. It's going to give us the name. It's going to say that there are three 
three members in the server. It's going to give me the owner, which is me, of course, with my owner ID. And it's going to give me the server age when it was created, which is two days ago. So now we can go ahead and test out the leave function. So we can go ahead and kick Tutorabot from the server. So now the Tutorabot is no longer within this Discord. And as you can see in here, it's going to go ahead and say it left a server. It's going to say test. It's going to say that there are now two members because Tutorabot is no longer there. And it's going to say server owner me, of course, and the server age. Now, one thing you could do is you could actually set the color of this to red. Uh, I forgot to change that. It looks a little better if the join is green and the leave is red. So feel free to do that if you'd like. So that's how you can make an advanced guild join and guild leave logging system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.